Hey fellow world dwellers, it's Angry Tartu and we are back on the PTS. And I was actually waiting if there will be any update yesterday, but so far there was no update. Hopefully they will not surprise me and do update today just after I upload this video, but who knows, it can happen. But we have some new stuff and some big changes. I mean, they are big for me. I see them as a big changes. It depends on your build and what you are doing in the game for you. Those can be a small changes, but nevertheless, <laughs> let's see those changes. Look at that. Poison resistance, fire resistance. And you say, what's so good about that? I'm wearing power armor. If you cannot see it, I'm wearing power armor. This means that the power armor is finally getting some love. And that's awesome. If you don't know why I'm so excited, poison is the only thing that actually, at this state of the game that we have on the live servers, threatens you when you are wearing power armor. Like you are an insane tank in a power armor and poison resistance is like almost the only thing that can kill you. And now we can have poison resistance in power armor thanks to legendary perks. Uh, there is still missing graphics for those packs, but it's the one. It's the one. Funky dudes. 50 poison damage resist when wearing a matching set of armor. And finally, they did it. Power armor, if you have a matching set, counts as matching set of armor. That's huge. That's really huge. And I'm so happy they finally did it. After all, Power armor is not dead. It's actually good. With this missing poison resistance, it will be good. I bet most people will still keep running unyielding for intelligence bonus and extra experience, but at least now we will have a use case for power armor. You will jump in if you want to be insanely tanky. And now I need to test it for you guys, otherwise it will be the question that will pop up first. Magic weapons. At this moment I'm in power armor, then my harpoon gun is not magic. Let's see. Shouldn't be magic. Yeah, only one number, that's mean that I'm not doing magic damage. One bolt number means that all projectiles are hitting in exactly the same spot. Now, without power armor, with my magic armor, yeah, different numbers. That basically means magic weapons are still here. Nothing changed. Magic weapons are working. Then you don't need to ask me about it, guys. Magic weapons are working, but there is something that does not work anymore. Not bad, good news, I don't know. It depends on how you see it. But basically, health regeneration from speed demon is gone. They actually fixed it. I will show you. I just need this super mutant to shoot me a couple times and I should be on the public team. It looks like a pub, like a private server. But it's not a private server. It's an adventure server, just no one at this time in here. And I run, I sprint, nothing. My health is slow and not regenerating. I almost killed myself on the mine. Look, health, 27. And I do have both life giver and rejuvenated. It will not budge. Not at all, you see? Nothing, I can sprint, I can jump can fly nothing it's not regenerating then why i said good or bad bad because we <laughs> lose one of our superpowers good because finally i will have a reason to use those steam packs and other healing items and all the healing food and stuff that normally just weight me down and i have no use for but magic weapons still in here i don't know if this will ever change at this moment, magic weapons are magic weapons, no changes. But when we are in the topic of health regeneration, there is some hilarious bug that pop up after they fix this health regeneration. To show you that, we need to go to Emmet Mountain Disposal Site. Then here it's either a bug or maybe one of the developers ask how much radiation resistance Psycho Buff should give you. And answer was yes. All of it. All of it. How much radiation resistance from Psychobuff? All of it. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> Radiation resistance from psychopath? Yes, please. <laughs> That's the most hilarious thing. You can run in here safely as long as psychopath is active. And psychopath actually still triggers health regeneration from speed demon. Maybe even without speed demon at this moment. Who knows? I wasn't testing it too much because I seriously doubt it will go into the live version, but from the other hand, who knows? Then yeah, I, I wanted to share this with you. Yeah, new superpowers, old superpowers taken away, new superpowers given. What's 346 rats? That's nothing for me. I am fine. I have nice green glow and nothing else happening to me. Look at health effects. Psycho buff 2 minutes. Health 57 out of 413. And will not budge. <laughs> it will not go any lower. It's frozen like that. But any other any other buff than Psycho buff to your maximum HP will not work. Like Life Giver doesn't work. Rejuvenated doesn't work. Uh, buffs from food does not work like that. Only Psycho buff. Something with happening with psycho buff. Now let's see if shortcut is still open. I'm in the nuclear silo right now and he's supposed to be hauling in the roof. Oh, it is actually patched. Look at that guys. Zetans finally noticed. No more. No more jumping through the roof. It's patched. My shortcut is patched. But that's a good thing. I like when they actually fix the bugs and stuff like that. It took some time, but yeah, I'm happy. To be honest, I actually reported this bug multiple times. It's not like I did only the video. I reported it as well. And I'm happy that I can jump in here and nothing happened. I'm not going through the roof. The bad news is that other glitches that allows you to go through the walls and close doors are still up. But yeah, I will not share exactly what those glitches are, you probably already know. And for the end, let's go and check how the big guy is doing. There was some update to him. Let's see what's changed. Nuke him. And event is up, let's go there. While we wait, let's make sure that I'm spec for damage. Yeah, this needs to go. Another rage. Stabilized. And here we need more adrenaline. It'll be over encumbered, but that's fine. And bloody mess, of course. That looks good. And here we go. What weapon should I should should I use first? Okay, let's try with a League AC. Two shot explosive Gatling plasma. Let's see if this will be effective. And how tanky Mr. Errol is. Okay, where is he? There, I see him. Okay, let's take a look. I shoot with that. Yeah, I'm doing some damage. Then it means he's not as immune to explosions as Scorchby's Queen is. Yeah, this League Ace is definitely doing damage. I broke it, then... Oh. And fear. Awesome. Let me go. Uh, let's see my 50 cal with ultra sight ammo. Yeah, those those Wendigos are way oh, are way hundred, harder than normal Wendigos. I forgot my health will not regenerate here. <laughs> Need to get used to that. And keep in mind that I will be much more tanky if there will be at least one other person on my team for my empath to trigger. And at this moment, I'm the only person on my own team. Well, it's not optimal. So I barely can see him. Should really do him a little bit more visible. How tanky is he? Oh, the damage is quite solid. I actually need to use stim packs, even though I'm wearing power armor. It's not a joke. And 50 cal is doing, I will say, okay. Nothing like great, but I should have some camps. Uh, Psychotats, yeah. Now let's see if I will do if I will do any better, and it does look that adrenaline is it fixed? 68 for the head, 
Do I have any Wendigo to get a stack of adrenaline? There's a lot of area of effect stuff going on. Oh no, no, don't run on it. It will kill me. Okay, barely dodge it. Okay, Wendigo. And now 72. Yeah, adrenaline is fixed. That's another good news. Adrenaline is fixed. Okay, I will I will just sit next to this wall safely. And yeah, 50, 50 cal is doing okay. Oh, oh. Yep, too much damage. Uh, stop hitting me so hard. Let's see Magic Gauss minigun. Pentabarrel, Pram Receiver. Oh, he's actually, this poison is doing a lot. Stop moving. Ah, uh, like that, I will not test anything. But that's the reason I'm sitting next to the wall. And uh, let's see, any magic happening? Oh, damage. Steam pack, work. They actually hit hard. I need my empath working, but there is no one to trigger it. And fear again. Straight into some radiation barrels. Let's see. Magic damage, please. Maybe he's a little bit immune, but I'm doing okay damage. If not the fact that he keep tossing fear on me. Maybe because I'm hiding here, he cannot touch me, then he used the sphere. Let's go in this spot. He's moving a lot, that other thing that make it hard to judge if magic damage is happening. But damage is okay, maybe a little bit... Oh, Stimpak, another one. There's a couple Wendigos biting me. Yeah, now I have solid damage with this adrenaline from those Wendigos. And fear again. But I'm not afraid. But okay, what else I need to test? I have more weapons, I think, with me. Uh, vampire minigun? Oh, that would be good. I will not need to heal. That's a magic one. Let's see if this one can trigger some magic damage. Yeah, reload first. Yeah, magic damage works on him. Just keep in mind, magic damage is limited by your frames. If your frame rate is slow, you will not see any magic damage with fast firing weapons. You will still see it with your, like, shotguns. Shotgun works for everyone. Uh, now I'm not getting magic damage. Is he getting, like, more immune? If I shoot him for longer? Not 100% sure. We'll need to investigate all those mechanics later. He's totally not immune to magic damage, but it seems to be harder to trigger on him. Like, it was happening once, and now I cannot trigger magic damage on him again. Or at least not fully. Because I'm doing damage, then it's not like I'm doing nothing. And it's a vampire minigun, then it's not like, not like the most powerful weapon, and his health is slowly draining. And my health stay, stays up with this weapon. Oh no, no. Well, he's hitting hard with those flames. And vampire weapon seems to be a way to go. As your health do not auto-regenerate anymore, I think the value of vampire weapons will go up a lot on the market. Then if you have nice vampire weapons, keep them. Do not get rid of them as it's a perfect weapon for a blooded build. You super tanky and you still do more damage than any weapon that you can use with high health build. And that's definitely a good option. Wow! That's a lot of Wendigos. The vampire effect is keeping me alive, but I, I need to kill them. It's too many. Too many Wendigos. Oh, and I'm under the area of the effect damage. I'm out of ammo. Trusted 50 cal now. Come on, arrow. Die. Okay, I got him. Now, where is he? There. 
I want my loot. And now I'm supposed to be running away. Is there like a marker when I'm supposed to go? Yeah, that's what I don't like in here. Uh, figure out where is the exit is not actually easy at all. Where is the exit? No exit. There's the exit. Yeah, follow the rails. Escape the mine, I have only 50 seconds. And I didn't really waste like too much time. Time to grab your loot is very limited. Yeah, and those guys are following. There's not much time after event ends to grab your screws from those Wendy, because if you want to grab your screws, you need to do it early. 30 seconds. I need to grab my loot. Let's see if it's working. Do I have my loot? Yes, they fix it. There is a loot in this trunk. Uh, no luck with a weapon, unfortunately, this time. Let's get out. Okay, let's see the rewards. Hopefully it's all working. If rewards are working, then this event is ready to go. I yeah, got my flags, plushy, and eight treasure notes. They buff it. And guarantee free star random legendary. Yeah, it's all working. It feels like this event is actually ready to go with, with the patch 21. And that's a good news. And there's a lot of good news. Some not so good and some mixed maybe, but generally big changes and good changes over, I will say. Then I'm hopeful for patch 21. And now I just hope there will be like no update just after I upload this video. If there will be an update, I will do another video in like two, three days if they will update PTS again. And closer to the release, I will do a full guide for Wendigo Colossus event. If you guys need some pointers and how it works, what to do, what to keep in mind, then I will do a full guide. But closer to the release of patch 21 and this event, because I want the guide to be up to date, I'm still waiting for the final version of the game. Uh, that will have all the changes applied. And that's it for the PTS update. As always, thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.